this is this has been a minute, man. A long time coming, bro. It's like, definitely it's been, been a good while. while. It's been a good while, man. You got you got to take us back, bro. I think the last time we did it was when you were literally like meal prepping. I think it was around that time. So, hey, that was probably like April. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. It's been a minute, man. So, run us through, man. Like, like what's been new from the time we last talked. Up until now, I guess we can go into the goals in a little bit, but just I guess the the main changes that's been taking place in your life, man. Main changes, um, main change that really been taking, um, that's been taking effect in me right now is the whole move, right? Like you know, I just said moved like an hour away from Seattle. Wow. So let's say like you know, what part of Georgia are you in right now? I mean, I'm in uh, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, so if you're in Atlanta, say like Macon, like you know, let's say like. Right, exactly. It's like it's a good hour drive to like yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a good far drive. Yeah. So like you know, right now I'm just been trying to like settle into the place. Yeah. Um, I just found a little uh, uh um a gym studio out here in Bremerton, where I'm at. Okay. Right today, I just left that little place today, so I'm about to be starting to work out here. Let's go. Right now, it's all about picking up new clientele in the the the, the place I reside in. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. So so, literally, when you're a personal trainer. When you're moving from place to place, you like you said, you really have to actually find new clients because your old clients are back where you used to live. Right. That's crazy. That's it, it kind of it, it. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet because especially mm-hmm. like when you have a good frequency when mm-hmm. you're like, mm-hmm. you know, your clients love you, you love your clients. Like you don't want to mm-hmm. walk out. Like, they don't want to see you leave either. Oh. Right. It's like you know, I have a couple of clients. That's like, that's like, all right, well. I'm gonna just still continue training with you. Like, can you just do these days or can you do these yeah. days? No, I'm like, all right, let's just do weekends. Like, you know, we can just try to make it work for them. Wow. All right. Cause like you, you don't want to just walk out on somebody that you start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of my one of my another one of my favorite clients is um she is um she's an elder woman. She's an elder okay. like, yeah. in her 60s, like in her 60s. She had um just had surgery not too long ago. Wow. And she hasn't walked in a while. Like it's been a good while since she since she actually got out the bed and walked. Yeah. All right. So like you know, once we start, I start training with her and just like you know, just get her, getting her in just like you know the fundamentals or just moving mm-hmm. and like you know just taking steps. Yeah. So far on her first day, she was scared to even get out of her walker. Yesterday we had a session. Yesterday she took hundred and sixty steps. No, actually I'm wrong. She took two hundred steps. Our first That's PR cool. was our first PR was one hundred sixty. Yesterday we did two hundred. So she's like, yeah, she's like, I'm really not about to let you go. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to keep you like, you know, no matter how far the drive it is, I'm going to just like, you know, we'll just figure out, figure our schedule out. See, bro, this is what I'm saying, man. Like, this is why I highlight people like you and Giselle and Ari. Again, y'all are the trainers in the group. And listen to what you just said, bro. Like, <laughs> you got you got an elder client that's sitting here. You said, said she's over 60? She's in her sixties, yeah. In her sixties, bro. And you and you, I mean, again, your clientele seems to be ranging from young to old. And 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 they still they still want to be with you. You move somewhere, she's saying that we still gotta make it work. But that's 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 a mark of a good trainer, man. Yeah, it's yeah, it's I love it. I love it. It's crazy. Like when you told me, I was like, What? Like, are you serious? You got a six year old woman, over six year old woman. Uh, telling you that she's still gonna be with you, she barely could walk, and you still training her, and you know, getting her out the bed, and she's now finally walking, and she's seeing progress. Incredible, bro. I mean, just hats off, bro. Like for what you're doing, and um, for who yeah, you brought, are. It brought, it, brought, it brought real joy to me. Yeah, it brought joy to me. I'm thinking about like you know my grandmother and like you yeah. know, other like you know situation, like you know, uh, yeah, it, it just brought joy to me knowing that like you know I can help her, like you know, in that in that aspect. What's the youngest? Uh, so I'm assuming this is the oldest. But what's the youngest you've ever trained? Youngest I ever trained was probably about my age, 25, 23. Wow. Nice. No, I, I trained I train kids. I train kids around seven to eight. Wow. Maybe. Yeah, about seven to eight. Soccer player, little soccer player uh, kids. You got you got little kids paying you? No, their parents. It was their parents. The owner, it was the owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I live got seven, eight years old paying yeah. his man. <laughs> That's funny. No, it was the, the owner of the gym that I work out now. He uh he actually paid me to train his kid. 
dope, bro. That's yeah. dope. That's yeah, that was that was cool. That was cool. That's crazy. That's crazy. Are you are you doing or are you still doing online training? Which one are you doing? Are you still I, haven't doing? Even, I haven't did online training yet. I haven't started it. Okay. Never did. Started. okay. Are you looking? I I'm I, I'm looking to push more for online training here. Okay. Cool. But that that, that clientele is kind of hard to pick up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Giselle said the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was looking at her and I was mm-hmm. like. I thought I, I had thought she was killing it, like you know. And I seen that I th- I seen that, and I was like, okay, at least we're in the same boat. Like, okay, well, I'm like, all right, all right. It's not just me just struggling out there. Like, it's it's really a it's it's a hard game to get into. That online training is something very different. It's very different, bro. You got the marketing. You got the again. You it's pretty much like this. Like that's right. why it's hard to build these groups. Like it's it's a hard thing when you're doing online marketing and you can't really do in person. It's a whole nother ball game. In person, it's kind of easy because, like, you know, you know, you need a personal trainer. You're going to talk to a personal trainer. Once we have the first session, you're like, okay, this is like, you know, exactly what I need. You mm-hmm. know, if you like it, if you know, if you still want to work with that trainer. Well, uh, online, it's like, I'm just going to watch a video of this trainer mm-hmm. and then I'll, I'll do exactly what he's doing. And I'm going to just keep on doing that. And then you go like two months or a month down the line, you, you, you don't see the results. So you feel like, man, I'm still where I was at, like, you know, I'm yeah. stagnant. Mm-hmm. Now I need some more help type of thing. That's where the mm-hmm. online is a lot more challenging. Yeah. Yeah. And and they have to, they have to stay accountable in some sense for themselves. Cause they could be lying to you if they don't do the work, you know, at home. Right. Exactly. You know, so it's a whole thing, man. But, um, I think you'll kill it. I really do think you'll kill it, man. So when you do it, I, I really do think you'll kill it. It'll probably start off tough, but once you get your, you know, your, your ball rolling, Man, I feel like you you really have it locked in, and people will see what you do. I mean, look at your games, bro. Look, look, you know what I'm saying? Just look at your games. Look at look at how much you've improved. I think when people see the 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 proof in the pudding, they are gonna want some of the pudding. <laughs> hands yeah, down, man. hands down, bro. Hands down. So again, man, I just want to give you your flowers, bro, because you really have been putting in the work. I've seen it. I seen when you you know you fell off. I, I know you told me you were in a little mental uh, mud bro. for a little bit. You came back. The games came right back. I mean, it, it, bro, it's like you, you, you put on muscle like super fast. So, I'm telling you, like it's 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 crazy, bro. I think what you're doing, um, and the potential that you have to build what you're building, um. But, but let's get into it, man. How how are the goals? What are the goals? What were the past goals? Um, this past month, man, and did you hit those goals? What's up? This past month, my goal was really more so to try to try to find clientele out here this way in Bremerton. Okay. Or just even a studio. Mm-hmm. Right, so I just hit that goal actually this week. Wow. Like, I just hit that goal this week. I found a studio like two days ago. I just did the interview today. All right. So that goal is complete. Nice. Um, another goal of mine was to is to just just stay just stay consistent. Just stay stagnant. I mean, not not stay stagnant. All right. Right, because mm-hmm. I wasn't like in a mental place where I wasn't even working out. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even working. Like it took I was took a break for like two weeks. Yeah, you told me. The move yeah. took like you know a good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that took a good. Uh, I take break off of you because like you know you have to pay all this money. Yeah, all the move money, so that takes away from the nutrition. So it's like, dang, I don't even really have a lot of money to keep up with my meal plan. Yeah. So I can't work out as hard as I want to. Yeah, so put me back, and then like you know I had to think with my son. That was putting mm-hmm. me like a thing right. Mm-hmm. you know so that put me like a, uh, it really put me like a mental breakdown type of thing yeah. so uh my goal was to get right back to the basic and just get right back pushing you know like this last week i've been doing that this last week i've been really doing it and you said bro you took off working out for two weeks like it was a good two weeks my goodness man my god i just want to make sure people hear that man because <laughs> again we all fall down, man, but it's about getting back up. We all fall down, yes. And I have clients who, like, you know, I have clients or even just people in general, like, mm-hmm. you know, work out in the economy and they'd be like, I haven't worked out in, like, a few mm-hmm. days. I haven't worked mm-hmm. out in this long. And, like, you know, they'll see their numbers decrease. Like, you know, their bicep curls or their bench press, squats, mm-hmm. whatever their favorite lift is, they'll see it decrease. Same mm-hmm. thing happened to me. Like, you know, it's like, nobody or or we're we're all exempt nobody's exempt from this Mm -hmm. like you know we're all human we all go through the same struggles so the same thing for me i took like you know a good break 
I see my numbers go down. Like, you know, my bench press went down like 20, like 20 pounds. Mm. Bicep curl stayed the same. But like my squats went down like mm. a good 50 pounds. Like I can still wow. get like, you know, a good my one rep max in mm. a rep, but I usually can hit it for four. And I'm like, man, like, you know, okay, now for me it's just getting right back into the basics. Mm-hmm. Just push you right back to Exactly. Exactly. And and bro, again, but, I think, I think uh, about, No, go ahead. No, I was gonna say we all go through it. Everybody goes Everybody goes through like, you know, a place or like, you know, um, a journey in their fitness journey where it's like your body's asking for a break or your mental's asking for a break. Come on. All right. So everybody comes to a point where it's like we have to stop. We have to take a break. And then we just get right back into the basics. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly, bro. We all have to take a break. And that's okay to do. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people don't realize that it's okay. It's okay to need a, a mental break. It's okay to need a physical break. You know, um, yeah, I think a lot of people feel like they're, you know, they committed a sin or something when they don't do it. And it's just like, you know, you you actually need wow. like you need right. that rest. <laughs> it's like, no, you haven't met one trainer who has not. Took a break. Come on. Come on. Exactly. I never, have, I never met one yet. And, and you come back stronger. The thing is, you look I mean, look at you, bro. Look at your look at your games now. Look at the pictures you just I just saw some of your pictures. It's like after that two week break, it looked like you put on like two weeks worth of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> that too, yeah. That because you know it's like you know you come back really stronger because you know where you came from, exactly. right? So you know you don't want to go back to that place, mm-hmm. and you've already seen yourself gain, like you know you've seen yourself gain the muscle or yeah. you know hit your your weight loss whatever goal you have. So it's like you know that you can do it. So it's like after your break, it's like, all right, let me stop playing. I need to get right back on my grind. Mm. And it's like hunger mode. Like, you know, if you're hungry, you're going to eat, 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 mm. eat, eat, eat. And you're just going to keep on getting, keep on grinding, keep on grinding. Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's dope. That's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope. And, and all this in the process of you moving, going through the transition, like you said, things with your son. I know some things you told me about personally. You know, just going through all the stuff you've been going through, bro, I'm proud of you. You know, just knowing what you've been going through and how you stay consistent and you still locked in like that right there says a lot about how serious you take this lifestyle, this this journey, you know, um, coming, you know, for the upcoming month, bro. What are you looking for in terms of goals? You know, what goals are you you setting for yourself and how are you going about making sure you hit those goals, I guess, for this upcoming month? For this upcoming month, I am trying to. Well, I'm not really looking forward to put on like a lot of lean muscle, right? or okay. like you know, I, I know I can do it, right? So that's like a slow journey. That's a slow process. There. Mm, okay. this, this month, I'm more so of just looking to like you know build up more like you know um, endurance, mm. like cardio, because I got to a point where I was doing a little bit of boxing training, like you know I was training mm-hmm. for endurance, and, like, you know, gym, mm-hmm. and I started getting winded. I was like, oh man, like I was like. Like, how long has it been since I actually did, like, you know, an endurance training? I've been strength yeah. training for so long. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I need to I need to get my win back up. I need to get my win back up. Mm-hmm. So this month, I'm more so looking to start getting right back into athletic training. Nice. All right, so, you know, jumping squats, like, you know, I'm training uh, sports training, uh, boxing, cardio, all that all that type of stuff. And get the exercise of my heart. That's what's up. That's what's up. And, and bro, that's right. You know, again, I've had this talk with Giselle uh, on – you know, with the with the personal check ins, I've had this talk with other people as well. But I feel like a lot of people forsake cardio. Do you do you feel that as a trainer? Do you feel like a lot of people, like in a sense, don't see the importance of cardio? Um, no, well, no, I definitely see the importance of cardio. Sorry, I, I see the import the importance of cardio. Mm-hmm. I may not see the importance of running or or like you know jogging every day. Mm, right. Right, 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 exactly, exactly. But you see that importance of cardio, right. yeah. Let's say like, you know, if you're jogging every day, like, you know, if you like to, if you like cardio, if you like to run, mm-hmm. ride a bike, their master, I'll never take that away from me. Mm-hmm. All right. That's, that's how we'll train. That's exactly what we'll do. Yeah. But it's going to come to a point where we plateau. Always going to come to a plateau yeah. once your body gets used to exercise, once your body gets used to something. Like, let's say, for example, when I started my fitness journey, I started at 100 push-ups a day. Mm-hmm. Eventually, it got to 1,000 push-ups a day. Cool. I was literally doing 1,000 push-ups a day. And it got to a point where that thousand push-ups wasn't doing nothing else for me. Wow. It was just maintaining my size. I wasn't gaining no more muscle. I wasn't pretty much doing anything else. Yeah. That's the same thing with cardio. 
Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, once your body get used to it and you lose a little bit of uh, weight there, mm-hmm. you're going to come to a plateau. Mm-hmm. All right. So with the strength training here, it's like, you know, not only are we burning calories here and yeah. aiming yeah. for weight loss, we're mm-hmm. building like you know, bone density, we're strengthening joints, mm-hmm. like we're um, we're picking up our endurance. And at the same time, we are losing weight. Yeah. All right. And then we can switch up the exercises. So for me, yeah. I always would. I always recommend like a, a little bit of strength training mixed with yeah. endurance training mm-hmm. and sports training if you're going for cardio. Mm-hmm. Like I say, if somebody like, you know, I need to get my cardio up. Like, you know, I want to build up my my win. I wouldn't be like, okay, let's get on this treadmill run. Like, no, we're going to do some jumping squats. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make it fun. Yeah. Yeah. Running the morning, too. Who wants to just run for the 30 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Five. I can't do it. After yeah. like two minutes, I'm like, all right, I need to stop. Like, it's, yeah. I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm bored. So, yeah, that's, that's my whole philosophy on the cardio training. Yeah. No, no, I get and, and And I love that, too. I love that you still mix in the, you know, the importance of both. And, and, and again, something, again, Giselle likes to talk about is balance, having a balance between the two, having a balance in between. You know, knowing where to where to put right. certain things, or you know, even things like hit cardio. You know, that being something that can also balance both of them. You know, together. You know, but but you mentioned your heart health, and I that's why you know again when you mentioned cardio, you mentioned your heart health, and that's why I was like, you know, it's again, it's still the the whole aspect of the heart being a muscle. So including that in there and making sure that you get that cardiovascular system, you know, what I'm saying also in place or working. I love to see that y'all still incorporate that in there. Even though y'all are still hitting the, the strength training, you know, y'all still are like, hey, I'm still gonna make sure I get it in. Still got to make sure I take care of my heart as well. I feel like so many people today, I don't know, for some reason, they feel they, they forsake that cardio, the cardiovascular system. And I feel like, you yeah, know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because no, mm-hmm. uh, really, just like you said, like. I wouldn't say everybody or people be lazy, but nobody wants to. Who wants to get on a treadmill or run or get on a yeah. bike in 30 minutes? Mm-hmm. That's so boring. Yeah. That's so mm-hmm. boring. Right, so if you put somebody through like, you know, a high intensity exercise like burpee, yeah. jump a jack, exactly. jump a squat, mm-hmm. battle rope, mm-hmm. like, you know, all those type of things, mm-hmm. then that can be a little bit more fun. Yeah. Then that can exactly. be like, I'm looking forward to these training sessions. But exactly. if I'm like, all right, once we get to this, once we get to the, uh, to our session today, Let's get on the treadmill. We're running for 30 minutes. They're mm-hmm. going to be like, yeah. Right, yeah. Like, like, you know, like, and then and they're also going to feel like they can do that on their own. Like, you know, like, why am I paying yeah. for I could I could just run down the street mm-hmm. for 30 minutes. Like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Type of stuff. I think that's that's another reason why uh, people kind of hinder from that kind of cardio or mm-hmm. feel like your yeah, cardio. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But hit cardio too. That's a whole. That's a whole beast. That's even. That's even cra- a crazier beast than just regular cardio. Oh yeah, that's the hit cardio is something else. Yeah, something else, bro. That's something else right there. Like I, I'm, I'm still trying to incorporate that in some sense, man. But we, it makes it funner though. It does make it funner. You're right. I love it, man. I love it. All right, so, so again, you're just looking forward to increasing your, um, like you said, getting your heart health right. Um, what about nutrition? Yeah. You, you got any goals there in regards to maybe meal plans? Are you still meal prepping? My nutrition, my nutrition meal, definitely getting meal plan. Now that I got my own space, like, you know, Come I'm on. able to buy like um, a limited amount of groceries. Exactly. So like, you know, I just filled my refrigerator up. Yep. I'm actually cooking right now. That's why I'm moving around a lot. <laughs> okay, let's go. What but you I'm cooking, man? Right now. So my meal plan right now is actually going really good. Actually really good. What you cooking? Listen. You got to let us know, man. I got a little, little bit of um, a little bit of southern hospitality in me today. Okay, I some baked beans with some macaroni, some cornbread, and some fried barbecue chicken. Ooh, hey, bro, southern hospitality! Like, <laughs> no, I'm just trying to, you know, thinking about Atlanta. <laughs> but Thanksgiving over there, man. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I miss living in Atlanta. I love it, bro. I love it, man. man. I love it, bro. Well, yeah, but the nutrition, yeah, nutrition, most definitely. And I just grabbed like um, I actually just made a, a protein pie actually. Wait, a protein pie? Giselle uh, made um, she used the same ingredients, but it was like it was a little bit different, All right? So for here, mm-hmm. I made like you know yogurt, peanut butter, um, protein scoop, and the base is a is a graham cracker crust. 
and that just froze it. Mm-hmm. Whenever I have the urge to like, you know, eat sweets or like, you know, like, you know, you have that uh, that sweet tooth. Yeah. Like, Waiter got me a little good protein snack. Yo, what the heck, bro? I ain't never heard of no protein pie, bro. That's dope. Look, like, what the I, heck? I, I usually just eat it, like, you know, just eat it just in a bowl. Yeah. Like, you know, just mix it in a bowl, and I'm like, okay, what if I made this into a pie? Bro. So I to try that. It's pretty good. It's pretty Man. good. Oh, bro, this man made a protein pie, y'all. Did y'all hear that? Like, come on. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> protein pie. Bro. No, nah, that's a snippet, bro. This is a snippet right here, bro. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, like, uh, that's like crazy. <laughs> but, but, bro, again, you making it fun. I, and I can tell that's what you all about, uh, Jamil, bro. You about making the journey fun. I can tell. Oh, yeah. I can tell. Oh, yeah. That's the fun, isn't it? Because this is what I love doing. You love right? Doing. So, like, you know, if I love doing this here... You mm-hmm. definitely got to make it fun. Mm-hmm. And that's why, like, you know, most of my clients love training with me as well. Because, mm-hmm. like, you know, I don't just be like, all right, we're just here mm-hmm. to train, and that's it. I'll see you later. Like, you know, I make it, like, really fun. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I make it fun. Like, you know, I might make you laugh, ask about your day, how you're doing. Like, yeah. you know, I care about all those sorts of things. Yeah. Other than here, like, you know, I care about your well-being, mm-hmm. right? And especially you're a person just like me, right? Exactly. So you deserve to be treated as such. Right, so yeah, for me, the, the, the fun part is that's 100. percent We go, we have to have fun. If we're not having fun here, then what are we doing? Let's go, let's go. That's that's my philosophy, that's my whole philosophy, bro. I love that, man. Um, and I hope people that are listening to this, you know, they care, they take that message or carry that message with them because this journey just won't be consistent if you ain't loving it. If you ain't loving what you're doing, you just won't be consistent, right? Exactly, you just won't be, you know, or it'll be torture, like you said, it'll be torture trying to get up and. Do something you hate. So right. I love like working at like, like McDonald's or something. Like, right. exactly. like at fast food. Like, you know, when I got out of high school, it's like, no, who wants to work at McDonald's? Exactly. Or when Jimmy Joe, nobody wants to work for a fast food restaurant. Mm-hmm. You just do it because you have to. Mm-hmm. But at some point it's gonna come it's gonna start messing with your mental. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, I definitely want to do something that you love doing. Just that's like why I picked this thing right here. Because I love doing it. I don't even feel like I go to work most days. Come on, like, come on. Talk to people. That's really it. That's how I feel. I just go to the gym and talk to people. And it's crazy that I actually get paid for them. Come on. That's sometimes, a... I still, <laughs> sometimes I still can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> this man says it's crazy he still get paid just to go to the gym and talk to people. Right? It's like, bro, he getting paid for it. <laughs> bro, I feel it, bro. Even look at this. I get paid to talk to people. Like that's that's pretty much essentially what y'all pay me for. Y'all pay me to, to talk right. to y'all and, and ask questions. <laughs> right. Exactly. And you're right. Like you 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 end up thinking to yourself, man, I'm getting paid for something I enjoy doing. And you would have never thought. You would have never thought, bro. No way you you never slip either. Never slip. Exactly. Exactly. I love it, man. I love it. For the group, man, what can we do to hold you accountable? You know, what what would you want the group to keep you accountable for? for this month definitely definitely keep me accountable on on my on my nutrition side mm. although i do meal prep sometimes i'll skip i'll skip a meal all right because i'm really lean linear like you know my metabolism mm-hmm. is really fast all right so like you know i might eat breakfast and it'd be like four or five hours later i'll be like man i ain't even ate four or five hours mm. eat again and then it might be like another four or five hours so I'm like, I need to keep on snacking or keep putting mm. into my body to like, you know, to keep my metabolism up. Yeah. My metabolism up. Okay. Sometimes I'm flipping. I'll just, I'll forget about it and and I won't even be hungry or nothing. Damn. It's, 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 I know. That's great. So, so how's your protein intake? Is that, is your protein good? Protein is pretty good. Right now I get like 100, 150 to 180 grams a day. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of protein, bro. <laughs> That protein pie is about 80 grams of protein. Ah, dang. A slice? Yeah, that protein is just one slice. My goodness, bro. It's one slice. Man. It's nothing but literally nothing but protein. We got yogurt, peanut butter, protein powder, just a little bit of honey just for, like, you know, sweetness. Sweetness, yeah. And, uh, I, I, I crumble a protein cookie on top of it, like, whenever I'm ready to eat a slice. Wow. No way. Like all stale or whatever, you, you still get like the good crunchiness in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like Seventy to eighty grams of protein in there. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, man. But 
Hey, you making it fun. You making it creative. That's what it's about. I love it. I love it, bro. In terms of me as a leader, man, the group leader for the, um for your upcoming month, man, in terms of your fitness goals, how can I help, man? Um, I think it help on everything that we're doing right now. Definitely okay. more checkup. I think for me, I had to. I was. I was just like you know, had to get settled in a little. Absolutely, bit. absolutely, yeah. The, the checkup, the checkup definitely do help. Check okay. up a lot. Oh, uh, so yeah, man. Yeah. We, do, I love how we hit each other in the DMs a lot. Like I do love kind of being able to do that throughout the you know the weeks and the months like that. Right. Love that. Right. Yeah, yeah. you're right. DMs and other, a DM could be a checkup too. A DM could be a checkup too. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. you know, how you doing? Hey, did you eat your daily? Uh, 180 grams of protein or did you hit 2,800 yeah. calories? You had 3,000 calories today? Like, mm-hmm. you know, just that's, that's a checkup. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. And I appreciate you, bro, because you always posting content. Like, out of all the members I see, even even more than Art, I'll even be honest with you, Art posting a lot more now. He posting a lot more now. But you... Yeah, I'm sorry. Say, yeah. say it again? I see. I'm starting to see him too, yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to see him. I'm starting to see him more now. I'm starting to see him more now. Giselle, of course, she been consistent. But I would definitely say for you, it's between you and Giselle. Y'all yeah, probably post the most fitness stuff out of out of all the, the members, to be honest. Yeah. I'm like always seeing y'all, man. You and Giselle, y'all like stay, stay hitting it. Giselle, she be posting a mixture of stuff, right? Uh, she be, you know, showing out with all her 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 little dresses and bar- Barbie dresses and stuff. <laughs> but you look, look, you you be all fitness, bro. <laughs> oh, you kind of do it. Now, now, now it's a battle. Now it's a battle between me and Giselle. Yeah, yeah, it's about it. Hey, Giselle, here you go. Who's gonna post? post? She's here gonna we hear go. This too. Here we All go. Right, I'm challenging you. It's a verse. It's a snippet yeah. right here, bro. This is a snippet. It's Literally. A snippet. Call her out, man. Call her out. I love it. I love it. But um, one one more question. But before you wrap up, this is a new question. I kind of added into the check ins. Uh uh-huh. How are you mentally on a scale from one to ten? How you doing mentally? Right now, on a scale of one to ten, I'm about a good seven point five. That's what's up. That's what. So why seven point five? Because after the move in and like you know the new job and everything, I feel like you know okay everything is complete. Like you know every, everything that I was stressing about, uh, yeah, like, everything I was talking about here is is complete. Like you know I'm not really worried about the the money side because the money the money okay. take care of itself. Yeah, you exactly. Know, you just make money and then take care of itself. Exactly. But yeah, uh, this got me the new place. The nutrition is going good here, and just got uh, two new jobs actually, so that's really good. That's the that that makes me a lot happier. Only thing, the one thing that will put me out of ten is to like you know be able to see my son, of course. Absolutely. But we're still going through that little battle debate. You know how that can be. Yeah, so, yeah that's the only thing that's really keeping me down right now at a seven point five. Okay, okay, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man, bro. And you said two new jobs. Two, yep. Yeah. Actually, the, the the owner of the gym that I actually work at now, he has he's a con he has all kinds of businesses. So he has like you know a landscaping business. He's a barber, a oh, gym, wow. and I, I forget what some and then like janitor or something. Mm. Uh, like you know, he was like, um, until you can build up a good clientele out here, like you know, right now we we'll advertise for you because like you can do the landscaping too on the side. Let's go. Right? Just, not, just so you're not like you know losing hours or losing money. I'm just like, yep. Yeah. So I'm like, that's a new, that's a new trade for me, right? Because I never really did landscape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So okay. So I'm gonna just learn that. Now way, I always have that skill on my background too, if I ever need it. Let's go. So he's helping you out in both ways, training yeah, and man. landscaping, bro. Let's go. Everywhere. That sounds like a mentor, bro. Sound like he's he's mentor. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, he really is. Because like when I when I when I went to the when I went down there and I was like, you know, kind of like, bro, I just really need a job. Like, and I need a job. He was like. His exact words was, "You don't need a job; you need an opportunity. Wow. So you, need, you know, you don't need a job; you need an opportunity." And he hired me on that right then and there. Mm. Let's go. I respect that. That's exactly, exactly what I need. Bro, shout out to people like him, man. And and again, bro, when you get there, man, remember this. You know what I'm saying? Because there's gonna be another Jamil that comes your way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Gonna be another Jamil, another person gonna come your way, man. One day you gonna own your own gym or something like that, and you know he gonna come your way. I just need something, and then it's gonna be the same thing. I love that. You don't need a job; you need an opportunity, bro. I love that, bro. I love it. I love it, man. Salute to that dude, man. Salute to you. Salute to what you're doing. 
salute to you know your your hustle, your grind, man. I see it. You stand consistent. You are killing it, bro. Um, again, man, I I know you're natural, but every now and then I gotta kind of blink at the picture and be like, hold on, man. <laughs> I'm like, look, I'm like, look, 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 look. I'm like, hold on, man. How does man? <laughs> It's a Photoshop, like, what's yeah, I'm like, I know this man, natural man, but dang, <laughs> but bro, I'm loving it, man. And, and again, bro, we can go ahead and wrap it up here, man. I know you got things you got to do, but um, this was it, man. I just wanted to catch up with you, make sure we had you know, we had everything down. Shout out your socials, man, and also let them know you're a personal trainer, bro. So, whoever sees this, yeah, social media, elevated fitness or elevated underscore fitness 18. And I definitely am a personal trainer residing in the Seattle, Washington area. And if you want to book for virtual sessions here, just inbox and just let me know. We can definitely talk about that. Let's go. Let's go, bro. I love it, man. Thank you for the time, man. I already know, bro, you were, you know, crunching time, but thank you for making time, bro. Um, This was a good check-in, bro. Can't wait to post it. I'm going to tag you in all of it, man. You already know we're going to talk soon, bro. All right. And I'm right. going to plan to jump on for the, for the call. Jump on, bro. Jump on. Please jump on, man. We would love to have you, bro. You already know. No, bro. Look at you like, dang, it's 6 o'clock. I just missed you. Or something, but yep. definitely go. I'm going to try to jump on tomorrow. All right, cool, cool, bro. Man, we're hoping to see you soon, man. But uh, look, if nothing else, bro, make sure you stay safe and just keep on grinding. Keep on grinding. Keep on posting. And engage in the group, bro, so people, know, you know, they know that you're still there. For sure. Oh, uh, most, most definitely. Absolutely. You're talking about the Facebook group, right? Yeah, the Facebook, exactly. Because exactly. people, they posting in there, bro. They posting like crazy. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, usually, I'm usually like, all oh, fitness on Instagram. I, I know, I know, I know. I'll be seeing it. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah, you know. I'll be yeah. seeing it. I'll be seeing it. But bro, bring some of that over there. Bring some of that over to the group. Those pictures and stuff you got, bro, you got to bring it over there, bro. Please do. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. But we're going to talk soon, man. You know, definitely, again, man, have a great day. Stay safe, bro. And uh, we're going to chop it up. We're going to chop it up. I hope to see you tomorrow. Absolutely, bro. Take care, man. All right, you too, big brother. All right, y'all.